Good evening, I'm Karan from Satori Music and uh, I'm going to give you guys a few tips on how to play the didgeridoo. Now a didgeridoo is basically uh, an aerophone, it's in the class of instruments of aerophone. So what happens when you make a sound is uh, basically in, in physics it's known as a standing wave. A standing wave of air is created along this whole column. I'm going to let you look through it. So there's absolutely nothing inside it. So what you guys need to do to make the standing wave is vibrate your lips and um, each didgeridoo player has a really personal style of playing and it's impossible for me to teach you exactly how to play but I can just get it started off so um, what you need to do is to kind of press your lips together not too tight just somewhat like this and blow out you know make a sound like You want to make sure that the, the, your mouth is completely pressed against the mouthpiece so there's absolutely no air gaps. Mm. A standing wave is based a lot on impedance and back pressure. So if you if you leave any air gaps out there, you're not gonna you're not gonna basically make any sound out of it. It's just gonna be like a you know like so what you're gonna do is exactly this inside the didgeridoo. I know this looks like a really large instrument and you're going to think this requires a lot of lung power you've got to blow a lot into it well you don't you you actually have to use very very less air you need to use just enough air to vibrate your lips so basically on one breath of air you need to be able to create the sound for a really really long time I'm just going to show you on one breath of air how long you should you should aim to get the sound for okay I'm not going to circular breathe nothing just this one breath Without straining yourself, if you can get close to that, you probably have it down right without exerting too much. So that's the first step. You could be getting sounds like, you know, if, if, if that happens, you're basically pressing your lips too tight together. So you've got to leave your lips a little more loose and repeat the same until you get up. So once you get this, once you get the sound going, the first step you need to do is try to create one single tone for as long as possible. Listen very carefully to the tone. Don't let it waver in pitch, volume or modulation. Just keep one pitch for as long as you can yeah, without varying it. Just as long as you can. Like I've seen a lot of people, they just get this tone and then they start ripping their favorite rhythm. But no, stay stick on this, try to get it as long as possible. The next thing you want to do is to create some modulations in the sound. So since uh, your vocal cavity is an extension of this air column, so the modulations will be coming from your tongue and the back of your throat, your teeth, your voice, everything all mixed up. So the basic way you can start modulating the sound is how when we speak, the basic modulation are the vowels, A, E, I, O, U. So you take two opposing sounds, you take a E and a U, E, U, E, U, E, U. So you do this with your lips. And then say E U E U. It's gonna sound really weird, but I'm gonna do it for you in any case. So you gotta do that inside the ditch, it's gonna sound like Just practice that until you get a clear E and a U. So it's E U E U with the combinations of that you can get a variety of rhythms, you can get like a so these are the basics the bread and butter of didgeridoo playing 
Circular breathing is important but not in the beginning. Yeah? Just forget about it and go ahead with getting the right tone. The circular breathing you can practice on the side and it will come pretty naturally. That's it.